Hello everyone, my name is Lassander and, and I'm a basketball player, basketball player at Aaron. And I'm just going to be asking him a few questions about, about his basketball career. Yeah. So now, now that the fans are starting to come back, now that COVID restrictions are dying down, um, how, how has that made you feel? Oh, it's been good. All last season, I wasn't in UK, I was in France, but all last season, just playing without a crowd, it was different. It's like playing in an open gym with nobody, nobody there, no fans. You got to create your own energy. But having the fans come in now, bringing that that quote unquote six man, having the crowd behind us when we when we need a little energy boost, and having that and feeding off of them is is, is great. Yeah, like um, uh, it's, um, it's like a modern coliseum, you know. But like um, you wanna, people wanna see you know, the, the ball being passed around. Yeah. They wanna see the people running around. Like, and it creates adrenaline when yeah, they do it. Yeah. No, so, it, that does create an adrenaline yeah, rush, and yeah, yeah. Well, especially when you're winning. Yeah, believe me, winning, yeah. winning, winning is a good, is a good thrill. Yeah. Um, so, how you prepare for games now? Now with the COVID restrictions still in place, and how how does that affect what games were like prior to COVID? Uh, mainly, it's just really the, just not having fans there. It's still the same preparation. You still got practice during the week, and still have a game plan for the, the team you're going up against. But now you see faces, you hear the crowd, you hear them cheering and yelling. It, it just gives you another, just a, another adrenaline boost just to go out there and compete even harder. Yeah, competing hard is competing hard is what is what drives us, you know, to get to our limit and the best that we can be. Um. So, as a player, um, before you enter a game or, or even after a game, um, how do you stay safe? That's a good question. Um, me, I, I stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> stay in the house, don't, don't do too much, don't go anywhere. You're like, obviously with COVID now, you just can't do anything because you don't know who has it, who, if it's around that area or whatnot, because some people don't tell the truth if they have it or not, they'll still do whatever. So me, I just go where I need to go. I don't just go anywhere. Yeah. No. So and then, just, yeah, just wash your hands, take your vitamin C, <laughs> vitamin D3, that's what I take just to stay on top of it. Just especially when the uh, winter time's coming, the sun's not out as much. So just not getting that vitamin D, that helps out. Just taking another supplement. Yeah, it's winter, it's winter so that's when the mistakes are happening because of COVID. Yeah. You've got to be, if it's just a cold or if it's just COVID. So yeah. people need to be more cautious with that. So um, now about the vaccine, like um, uh, are you vaccinated or if not, have you considered it? I'm currently not vaccinated. I just haven't done my research enough on the vaccines that are out there. And like you guys were interviewing earlier, um, Rodney, just hearing all those those different theories and conspiracies about the side effects. Yeah. So for me, it's just finding out what each uh, vaccine does and the side effects that come with it. And I haven't done my research, so that's why I'm not vaccinated yet. Yeah, I mean, it's good to always let like, you know keep just try oh keep keep like all right, that's a lie, but that's the truth. So you always need to like you yep. know know what yeah, to definite, do, yeah. What it's to going do. in you're putting something in your body you want to make sure you know what's going in yeah so like with also expanding on that like and keeping safe um uh, how many times do you do your covid testing uh once a week right now but last year uh it was twice a week mm -hmm. but yeah so it's once a week right now you get weekly testing and if it comes back negative keep doing what you did <laughs> to yeah. get that negative result yeah i feel like every time i do i know it comes negative and then i'm just like glad like yeah. sometimes i worry like oh no that better, that better yeah. be positive and they're not showing a sign that's the, them saying that the, you can show have covid without having symptoms that's scary too in itself yeah. so just knowing that each week you get a negative result is a good thing because you can carry it sometimes yeah. and people don't even know it as well yeah. And so, to the younger people who might be seeing this and are, being, and are being born into a world with a pandemic, what advice do you give for them once they're old enough to understand what to do? Uh, yeah, the advice I'll give is one, do your research. Then after that, just, just don't go into situations that can get hectic. Like if you want to go out and when you're old enough to party and all that stuff, you got to be cautious because that's where the majority of this stuff can can get contracted, so yeah, just just stay away from the large crowds. Just go where you you know, go where you need to go, and not where you want to go. Yeah, good advice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one more, one last question. Sounds like, um, what made you get interested in basketball? Yeah, so I didn't have a choice really. So I was like, when coming from the U.S., you use sports, so you got to use education to try to get that scholarship to go to college. So my family they chose the sport route to try to get that scholarship and. Yeah, I was placed with a basketball and American football at a young age, and 
by the time I got to high school, I was told to pick one from my parents. So it was either football, American football, or basketball. And I chose basketball and then worked at it every day until I got that scholarship. And then after that, it was pretty much on my own if I wanted to keep pursuing it. So, so you just forged your own destiny. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep, no problem. Yeah.